Final two weeks before football season is here. I'm here with Kirk Bowles and Seth Golden. They had their weekly chat this morning on statesman.com. We're here to kind of go over the highlights of that conversation. But before we really dig into it, last night you guys went to the major Apple White and uh, Manny Diaz availability. What kind of takeaways did you guys take from that availability? Well, one thing, can you put that down? We can read that later, okay? We got a show to do, okay? I'm reading the uh, newspaper, sir. <laughs> I've got to stay informed, sir. My takeaway. How can I inform readers if, okay. if I'm not informed? I'm going to read the states. My takeaway, Dave, was that uh, Manny did is all about the results, and he kind of uh, downplayed any heat on him and any uh, job uh, security problems, things of that nature. And other thing from Major, I just thought, uh, you know, he talked about how the defense had won the scrimmage against the offense mm -hmm. Monday night, and he, he wasn't very evasive about that at all. And I asked him. Well, how did David Ash do? And he said his performance was uneventful. And I think he meant that in a good and bad way. No right. turnovers, we had no big plays. So those are probably the two things I took from it the most. The one thing that uh, Manny said that really got my attention is uh, this is a player developmental job, which means under his watch, players, a freshman has to go from point A to point B to point C. They have to get better as they go. And there were some players last year that did not improve. Uh, he didn't like the line of questioning there. Uh, he, he felt he, he was a little defensive, a little combative, which I think is a good thing mm -hmm. because that's how this defense needs to be more combative. And this availability comes on the heels of a, a week long of, of open practices on the UT campus. First time since I've been around the uh, UT football that? program that they've opened practices. Our eyes were full. You guys had a lot to take in. Uh, what were y'all's impressions from that open practice? Who impressed you? Where do you think this team might be struggling? You guys took a lot of questions in the chat. So right. what kind of general feel of that practice? Girl, real quickly, I was impressed by the athleticism. A lot of weapons on that team. Uh, it passes the eyeball test. Mm -hmm. That was one thing that jumped out at me. Kendall Sanders, that wide receiver, uh, had a great week, and he impressed us every day. MJ McFarland impressed me, the tight end. He looked like a grown man. Two or three times he caught a ball over the middle and just burst through the secondary. If they can get that kind of explosion from the tight end position, they haven't had that since Jermichael no. Finley was here. That's been a minute, Dave. So. And Jalen Overstreet. I like him. I like Jalen Overstreet from uh, Tatum, Texas. Tatum? Jatum, uh, uh, a East Texas guy. They handed him the ball. Yeah. He, they ran it a little bit with him in the wild, and they threw it to him. So he I looks sure of himself. I think he looks he like really he knows confident. where he's going, and uh, he's taking this new challenge. And I think that he's going to uh, challenge Jonathan Gray for the wild assignment so that's going to be fun to watch. I think he just seems really natural with the ball in his hands. He's got a lot of speed and just seems like a natural running the football and knows where the holes are. Those guys that are going to be opening those holes for him could be a big question mark with Desmond Harrison still unable to practice with the team taking care of some academic issues. How big of a hit to this line will it be if Desmond Harrison can't go to start the season in a couple weeks? Well you take a, a, the side of a barn <laughs> and then and, 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 then, the whole and, barn. Then, and then and then you add maybe a, a little uh, duplex you know so <laughs> I think I think he's he's a big he would be a big omission uh, hopefully he gets it all straightened out. This is hurting his chemistry with the line and you know learning the system. And everything. he's a big guy. Yeah. You want him out there sweating and getting into shape. Exactly. It takes those offensive linemen a little bit longer right. to get into game condition than the other guys because they're the biggest guys. And I still team. think offensive line is the key to this team, the main key. Right. Well, we're winding down the off season. Just two more weeks left. Next week, I'm sure we'll have even more football topics to discuss as Texas continues to go through their fall practices and hopefully we get some more availability with coaches and players and, and who knows what else Mac Brown will do for us over the next week. So make sure you tune in or click over to the uh, chat next Wednesday, 11 a.m. on statesman.com and mystatesman.com. Kirk and said we'll be there once again to take all your questions. We'll see you. You can read the paper. Okay.